We're going to turn things over now to Chief Meteorologist Dave Hubdy for a look at our weekend forecast. Dave. Oh, Richard, it's looking really, really nice. Now, it's going to be spring-like. We're talking about the winds being a factor yet again, but that's nothing new for the Central Coast. The temperatures are looking pretty good. Big changes, though, for next week. We'll talk about all of that. Let's start off and take a look at what's going on out at Avila Beach on 805 webcams today. Look at that just a little bit earlier. Folks already hitting the beach. Let's check out some of the current conditions elsewhere in Avila Beach. Another one of our 805 webcams. And there you can see on the north end looking pretty good. Uh, 63, the wind's 7 miles per hour. It's 56 percent relative humidity in San Luis Obispo, 58 degrees. The winds are 24 miles per hour, so the gusts are higher than that. In Santa Barbara on the Mesa and the Riviera, we have 66 southeast winds, 8. The dew points, 53. Humidity, 63 percent. Atascadero, we got up to 72 today, 68 in Lompoc, 71 in Goleta, 78 Santa Barbara, 66 in Santa Maria, Santina, 73, Morro Bay, 57, 79 in Paso Robles, 68 at Pismo Beach, and 69 in San Luis Obispo. So kind of hugging, hugging the averages at the coast, the interior was above average. But look at the winds right now. San Luis, Santa Maria, and Lompoc, all 20 plus miles per hour, and the winds are still high going through the passes and canyons of Santa Barbara County. In fact, the peak wind today in terms of the one minute average, 36 in Santa Maria, 34 in San Luis Obispo. High wind warning continues into tomorrow morning for Santa Barbara County, the high country adjacent south coast and the passes and canyons for winds 25 to 40 gusting up to 60 miles per hour. Other than that, early low clouds, afternoon clearing, coastal valleys getting back up to about 70 degrees. Now for the west facing central coast, tomorrow's winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. So under advisory criteria, but still breezy. The interior valley starting with some low clouds and cool temperatures, but working back toward 80 degrees. Winds in the interior, more like 15 to 20. South coast temperatures, 50s to start. And then we'll get back up into the 70s over the course of the late morning through the afternoon and the west facing beaches a little warmer than what we saw today with some early low clouds but afternoon clearing and sunshine getting those temperatures up into the upper 60s. The difference between high and low pressure creates the wind again that's going to release a little bit as we get into the weekend, but it's not going to disappear. And in fact, as I look into next week what I see is more breezy conditions and marine layer forming up at the coast. And then the second half of next week, we're going to see an area of low pressure spin up over Nevada and give us quite a bit of cloud cover and getting cooler air deeper into the interior. That's something you'll notice both on the ticker and the extended forecast. So overnight lows tonight, right around 40 degrees for San Luis Obispo and Santa Maria. But as you get to some of the beach communities, more like the mid 40s, South Coast 50s, but look at those daytime highs back up to about 70 for much of the central coast in the interior, looking at about 80 degrees. North coast temperatures will likely be the coolest with daytime highs peaking out in the lower 60s, but other beaches will be warmer. Pismo Beach, Avila Beach, warmer spots. Napomo, 69 degrees for a daytime high. Santa Inez Valley temperatures in the mid 70s. And my extended forecast looks like this. Look at the temperatures kind of ease back a little bit for the middle part of next week. Now, what's interesting about that is look what happens in the interior. We're gonna lose about 10 degrees of heating next week because of that shift in the upper atmosphere. But, you know, it's spring, a little breeze, a little mixing of the clouds and the sun. This is nothing new. Richard, I think we can deal with it. What do you think? Probably, doesn't sound too bad to me, thanks.